Hello and welcome back to Path of Exile, part two for the uh, tips and tricks on the game in 2023. This is uh, for new players. Uh, we, <laughs> we spent an hour and we didn't even make it out of the first area there, but um, we're going we're going to be a little faster now. But um, that just gives you the idea of how much detail we're going into. There's a lot to learn on the very first, you know, the, getting into the game. So let's go ahead and push play. We are only level four, but we're going to get a lot stronger, a lot faster. So, here we go. Let's see what we left off with. We had our Augment Orb. We have seven Wisdom Scrolls. I haven't touched anything. And away we go. Let's uh, let's go over to our Waypoint and get right into it. And we're going to go to here. There's our Waypoint. We already did the title uh, title Island. Now we're going to go to the Mud Flats right here. And the uh, title Island should be like right down in here. Let's go get them. Ooh. What level are we for? All right. There's a really important gem that we're going to get that really helps uh, this uh, Molten Strike even more. Whoa. A blue magic uh, vest. So we'll at that I'd like to get some regen as well that would be nice I've got our uh, sprinting one so we can sprint now see that thing that's floating around me that tells me that I'm sprinting at more speed and I can use that twice and it refills as we kill creatures let's take a look at this and see what we get we'll take this because we need more uh, five of these white items that we're just gonna sell turns into a wisdom scroll and we're gonna use a wisdom scroll right now because Green, green, blue, not that great. I want to see what we get out of this thing. Ooh, some more energy shields. That, that's nice. It'll get us up above, above five. Let's find out what we get. Right click. Uh, some more energy shield. Not bad. We'll use it. There we go. And let's go on. In this zone, we're looking for three items in the middle. Let's kill these guys off real quick just to keep them off of we're pretty strong. We're one-shotting these creatures already. That's pretty nice. Normally that wouldn't be the case. Wow. And it's going to pop up with little like, exclamation points. There's one of them. They're going to be kind of close to each other. So if you find a couple of them, the other one should be close by. We'll take that. Oh, he didn't die. Now the thing is, these uh, Roas, they'll charge you and they'll stun you. And then they'll come from all the different sides and... They might chain stun you, so you gotta... Be, oh, there they are. See how he's running at you? Let's see if that one... He's charging up. He's gonna run at us, but we dodged him. Let's kill all these guys. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. Oop, that looks like a red, green, blue, and they're connected. Definitely take that. And we're gonna take this small life flask, too. Because we can trade in... Oh, it put it right there. We can trade in three of these for the next level up. Three of the same kind gives you the next grade up. Okay, let's take this. We'll take that. Now that right right away, I notice I'm running out of space, and I don't really want to go back to town quite yet. So let's take the big things out of there and jump those on the ground. We'll jump the jerkin on the ground. But this item right here is worth a chromatic orb, and we'll keep that one. But we'll try to focus on taking the the smaller items versus the bigger items because this is worth the same as this but it takes up twice as much space Ooh, red red green that's pretty useful oh boy you might want to hold on to that i like that red red green because i want to try to get like a faster attack what do we have so far now we're probably going to do something else we've got the ancestral call we'll see but our next uh we're in good shape with that um won't strike Support chips. Oh, there's a chest. Let's go find out what's in there. Absolutely nothing. All right. So we're just fighting these guys down. We're going over. There's the two uh, exclamation points. Very nice. And we're going to get these two, and then we're going to find the next waypoint. Oh, there's our next uh, crucible thing. Look at all those guys trying to charge at me. <laughs> we're going to heal ourselves and use our mana potion. We're going to put, put Sprint on. Ooh, here's a magic creature. They give more EXP, and we got another level. Very nice. See where right here is our EXP? Watch how much 
That was almost a whole bar. There's 20 bars for per level. That was pretty good. Oh, we got plenty of stuff we can take here. Let's move this down over. Oh, that's one of the items. This is one of the quest items. Put that there. These two things here. Wish it had a sort button. That'd be nice. Scroll of wisdom. We'll take it. And I, see how these guys might get mad at me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go fight them real quick. I don't want to have to fight these guys and the other thing. Ooh, an orc of alchemy. All right. So we've seen the other thing, the um, orb of a transmutation orb, but an orb of alchemy. It's uh, we're gonna save that for the end game. But if you really want to do it. We could find, we could turn that into a magic item. So right now it has that. You know what? We're just going to do it. I'm not going to save stuff. We're going to have fun. So that's an, uh, uh, I'm sorry, we can turn it into an, a rare item. This would be fun too. So I'm looking. We're going to turn this one into a rare item. Red, red, green. Let's do it. Let's have fun with this game. Here we go. Instead of a, you know, turning a normal into a magic, go right to rare. Come on, good luck. Okay, we got some dexterity. We need that. Some lightning, some armor, and a little bit more life. Better than that. And we got red, red, green. Boink. Just like that. Very cool. So now we got a little more health. We got a, a we're in better shape. Before we fight this, let's t let's get our next point. We're going to go with attack speed. I want to be able to swing faster. Let's see what that does to our 73 for our Molten Strike. 76. A little faster. We're swinging faster. And we're going to try to unlock the next thing. We're probably already over halfway. Let's see how much more it gets to. We're going to go up to brutal level. Oh boy, here we go. It's brutaler. I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna make sure I don't die. I'm gonna definitely use my uh, health potions and everything. Look at this guy. I'm really pounding on him. Take these ads out. I don't want them. Oh, we got a sniper's mark gem, but I don't. Oh my gosh! Did you see that? He really just unloaded. If I didn't have my health up by chance right there, he would have got us. Ooh, we got a, an amulet, and it's magical too sniper's mark we'll take this guy out and this means that we've upgraded our weapon so let's find out what that did oh boy that was a lot of stuff going on right there we'll take that trial club all right so a lot of stuff just happened Ooh, we got a sniper's mark this is a curse spell so we could do something like this Ideally, you want to get it where this auto triggers and it puts a curse on th something and it, a cursed enemy will take 10% increased damage from projectiles. Um, is our... It counts as a projectile, so if we were to do that, it would actually take 10% more damage if it's cursed. And projectiles which hit cursed enemies split towards two additional targets. Well, let's just go ahead. We're going to manually do it. Normally, I wouldn't do this, but we're going to manually do this. We're going to say... We'll put it on the D key, and we'll get it right. Let's go curse something, and let's see what happens. If we were to drop a curse on something. There's only two of them there, so we want to get a lot of them. Get a bunch of them around, we're going to curse them, and we're going to go boom. Good. Eh, it's a lot of work to not probably worth it. But if it did it automatically for us, then it would be worth it. Let's go pick up this. Oh, let's curse him. <laughs> right when I said we're not going to do it. Now we'll get it like this. Boom, boom, boom. Everything goes crazy. And we'll get our bat. Oh, look at all these things. Do we have enough room? Drop the regular one. And put take the ball first. Put this over here. That there. We'll take the mitts. And we'll take the gloves. So we're going to sell all those. Did we get the other item? No, it's right over here. And we're gonna, we're just gonna. Oh. There's better curses and things than this, so we're gonna take this one off. We're just gonna sell it. Let's take this one. 
Oh, a coral amulet or a, and a medium flask. So we're going to use the medium flask right away by going like that. And then when we get to town, we're going to sell these and turn them into a medium flask as well. What else? We got an amulet, didn't we? I thought we... Oh, but it's unidentified. Let's identify it. That's why I didn't auto-equip it. What's, what would he get? Two maxmen and fire resist. That's fine by me. Now our regen will be 30% faster than it was before on our mana. Ideally, if we can get that up higher, we won't have to worry about mana at all. We get some regen on here and maybe some life on hit. We don't have to worry about that. Then we can just play and not have to worry about anything. So let's take a look at this. Click it here, or we can do this and right-click here. See how it says at the bottom, right-click? Oh, he's coming up, trying to sneak up on me. What do we unlock? Two to four damage and a 20% chance to freeze. Nice. And then the next one is... Reduced attack speed. Attack with this weapon has a 20%. I don't want that one. I don't want to swing. So I won't even upgrade it past there. That's fine with me. I'm happy with that. Just a little bonus. We're going to get better weapons as we go along anyways. Let's go find the way out of here. So we don't care about these guys. We're just going to... We're looking for the way out. It should be over here somewhere. We'll take that scroll of wisdom though. We're going to follow the path of the shore. It should be up here... Did I not pick up that that third item? I didn't. Out of the nest. I don't even have room. Let's see. We'll drop. Ooh, we'll drop. Oh, that's magic. We'll drop this. Not this one, though. And I could have rearranged that maybe to get all those items there, but moving along. Come on, there should be a portal along here somewhere. Chest? Ooh, this is a big guy. Sure. Oh, we won't curse him because it really doesn't do anything. It's like, oh, he does take a little more damage, but that's no big deal. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Do we have any portals? We can't portal home. A large mana flask. Oh, gosh. All right, so we're, we're to the point where we need to get this stuff, so... Let's drop this on the floor, and this on the floor. We'll take the vest. We want that more than the other two things. We want red, red, green, so I'm just going to sell these instead of identifying them. I get, get the things that I want. A large flask. We're going to take that, put it right there, and it's not identified, so let's identify it. This one does... 50% of the recovery applied instantly, so only 20. This isn't that good because of the reduced recovery rate, increased recovery rate, reduced amount recovered. I'm going to sell this one. It's okay, though. And away we go. I'm going to leave this stuff on the ground. Where is the way out? Is it over here? I very rarely see it this far over here. Like, but it is very strange to see it up on this way. But it, you know, it rolls randomly. And I just glance at that and see if it's red, red, green. There are item filters that you can install, and we'll probably do those pretty soon, but not yet. That will highlight different items for you, play different sounds, alert you to different things, filter out things you don't want. It's really, really advanced, and it's nice. There we go. One, those three things that we got out of the nests are there. We're going to go right in here. Easy, easy. And I see the uh, thing that we're heading for, the waypoint. We're going to click that, and we're going to go back to, back to town. And let's go in here, and we're going to sell some of this stuff off. What little help I can offer is now, this thing, we're not going to identify it. And if we don't identify it, we get this. Five of those transmutes, okay? But let's say we identified it. Okay, it gives us that, but we're not going to do it because we want red, red, green. Now, if I sell it, it gives us eight of the alteration shards. An alteration orb will uh, will actually re-roll an item like this. I don't really like this, so I could re-roll it. Um, and you need 20 of them, so it's not so bad. But I want more transmute shards right now than alterations because I want to be able to transmute, let's see, like that and that. So I'm going to use them unidentified. I'm going to sell them and get these things. Okay. And 
there's the chromatic orb for the three thing the the three the red green blue and we're gonna sell was it three of these one two three and we get a better one that's 150 oh that was a mana potion not a health potion and we're in good shape. i wonder if i was pressing a and trying to heal myself i didn't notice that we don't want this coral amulet i i want the mana regen to help me not worry about mana and we're gonna sell this one this one and this one and this one plenty and we get all of this back pretty nice let's fix this that goes there now we're down to one mana potion oh we're gonna sell this item as well i'm not i'm sorry one health potion because of that we can fix that by going like this we're gonna put that there that there we can just purchase let's see one of those no 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 oh they don't have it for sale we're down to one we'll be able to make it though <laughs> and we're gonna sell this sniper's mark i don't want to use it i'm okay with this not being I want a different, you only get one curse or mark. There's ways you can improve that and get more multiple curses and multiple marks, but we're only going to go with one, and that's not the one we're going to use. All right, what do we get here? Um, We'll just go put oh, this well. in. The... So you guys get the idea of what we're saving up for and how to get more of these and everything, so we're going to just uh, put this stuff right in with our stuff that we've already got, and we'll use it as needed. So we're going to go like this now. So if you want more of these, pick up more white items to sell for it, and you'll be in good shape. We're also going to bring these along, and even these along. And I'll explain why once we find out. That way I have them on me when I explain why we're going to use them in certain ways. We won't upgrade these until we find one more, but right now I'm going to hold on to these. Actually, I think we could use one, but not quite. Let's find out what we get. Anything? Anything? Ooh, we do a totem molten shell an ash, uh, another type of totem or vigilant strike so the totem is this one and it looks like attack speed we can gain attack speed and it attacks stuff near it a decoy totem just you know it like taunts the things to attack it's it instead of us so we have a choice between this and this and we can always go over here and buy uh, this as well. So let's see which one is more expensive. Let's go back over here. There's the reward still. And is there another reward? Steel skin. Aha! So it's going to give us two rewards. The steel skin is a guard skill. And so is that other molten strike right here. Now I have a choice between molten strike which does it puts up a barrier around us and it's based off of your armor um that's a really good item and a lot a lot of people choose this but i actually choose this one steel skin and the reason is because i'm lazy and i like the buff grants immunity to bleeding when it goes off and not only am i lazy we're gonna pick it not only am I lazy, I'm going to put it right, we'll put it right here for now, but I'm going to put it right on here. So whenever I move, it's going to automatically cast it for us. I'm going to take it off there. So every time I move, um, every three seconds, I'm going to get a one and a half second buff where 70% of the damage is taken from this, this shield that automatically pops up. And I'm never going to have to worry about it. I'm not going to have to cast it myself. It's just going to be there, and it's a lazy approach, but it's uh, it's just a fire and forget. We're going for an easy, fun build. And that will also take off, if I'm bleeding, it'll take it off as well. Usually within the time that it... Usually it's fast enough to where it catches the bleed. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so let's take the other ward. And the other one, I want the faster attacks. So I'm going to take that. Perfect. We're going to put it right here. And then I use it on W. So now we have a totem. We'll take it off of that one right there. So we have a totem that we can drop down that attacks. And it makes us stronger. And when you drop the totem, it's like a screen away. It'll still buff you. It could be right over here. 
up up here, down that far away, it'll still buff you and give you the buff. But if you walk a little further away than a screen, then the buff will not buff. And I don't even think it attacks when it's off screen. I'll have to double check. Maybe a little off screen will attack, but if you're really, really far, it won't attack. Uh, let's see. Let's take our next point. And let's see how much more we get. We're up to 80. 84. Nice. Hello. Sell items? Anything? Nope. We're in good shape. We could buy... Let's purchase. Let's see, do they have any of the rings? The regular rings? Because I'd like a different one than that. You know what I could do? I want a different one than that. So I'm going to show you how we do it. An orb of alteration. Let's re-roll it. Intelligence maximum. I'm only going to re-roll. I could re-roll it a lot, but I'm only going to do it once because otherwise I'd be here forever. And let's even re-roll this one. More mana, more mana, more mana, more mana, more mana, more intelligence. So we, we have to worry about this a lot less. No problem. I'll go with that. And away we go. Let's find out where we're going next. We want to run right back into the, the not here. Either way, we unlock this. We can run right back out. Let's do that. But we want to go knock out this quest right behind us. But I wanted to unlock that so we can just go here. Because this is the way forward. Right in here is called the Fetid Pool. And there's a quest for us in there that says, Hey, go kill everything you see in there. Every creature. We're going to do that together. And these are optional side quests, and if you're really speeding through and you don't really care about this stuff, you can do the quest later at the end. And there, let's go leave those. We don't need those boots. What I could show you, well, let me go grab those boots and give you a shot at maybe we'll get movement speed on them. Why not? It would be fun. We'll just use it once. Here we go. Oh, we only have one to do it with. I don't want to. Turn it in for a scrap, even though we have 17 wisdom scrolls now. Now in here it says, kill all the monsters. You can type in at any time along the way in here, remaining in any map. You can type in remaining, it'll tell you how many you have. There's at least 50. Notice how I'm when I'm running, that pops up. That's this thing right here. It allows me to move and it always casts that thing. Oh, look at these guys. Nice. These are big. A lot of, lot of, oh, and a Paula amulet. Paw, uh, Paw. I always call it Paula. I don't know why. Let's see how much we get up. 83, 84. So only one of our items. We're going to leave these on the ground because we've got a lot of uh, wisdom scrolls for now. find out. See, now I want to backtrack a little bit just to make sure there's nothing. Oh, look at these guys hiding over here. Oh, look at that guy hiding over here. And when I'm looking at these things, I'm looking for the triple, like the red, green, blue. That would be worth picking up for. But I don't want the scrap of that, so I'm going to leave it. Oh, there's a hel uh, thing. I'm also looking if it's like a red, red, green, or red, red, blue on a helmet. We'll pick that up too and just swap it out. So we can always make it a a magic item. We know how to do that. Oh, I'm going to drop my totem down. Heal myself up. Ooh, we got a copper sword. This we're going to turn in for transmutes. This we're going to turn in for extra transmutes. So that's five and two. Nine transmutes. Pretty nice. Let's go see if we lost anybody. We'll sprint. We left any stragglers here. No, we didn't. This is a big circle, so we're going to just make sure we don't miss anything. Because you don't want to have to run back. Nice. Hopefully we're going to get a better um, support support gem than... I don't want that. Oh, this is four. You can use it two, one of two ways. You can use it to increase the quality of, of the weapon, which makes it hit harder and different things. Or you can get four wisdom scrolls for that. Ooh, we have a portal scroll, too. We could actually use that and show you the, how that works, too. Let's identify this and see if it's better. Now, this is the first time we've done this. We're going to actually compare the item that we have on. Here's our amulet. If you hold down the control, it'll it'll show the one that you have on. Right now, we have on one that does 
uh, 30%, so that's the same, but we get 8 mat life, and we get 1 extra mana in the fire resist. Now, is there a bunch of fire coming up? Kind of, sort of. I'm going to keep the fire resist and the one mana per enemy killed. That's fine. This is kind of a wash. It's not the end of the world. You could use either one and you'd be fine. I'll do the mana. I'll do the 11% less damage from fire. But either way, we could throw this one on and it raises our health by 11, which is about Oh, 7%? So 7% versus everything is better than 11% versus just fire. Uh-oh, we're going the wrong way. we got to go up here. Got to make sure we catch him. Oh, let's go kill these guys, too. Look at that range on that. It's really nice. Very cool. We're going to sprint back over here to make sure we didn't miss anybody up here. We're going to open this chest up. I'm just glancing at those, and it just... Oh, here's a... We're going to drop our totem down there. See the totem attacking? This guy's going to summon creatures. So it's a, But the summoning creatures don't drop anything, and they don't really... Um, they don't give experience, so you want to kill the summoner and not just sit there and farm nothing. Ooh, right now we have that on, which is useless, so let's go like this. Let's see if we identify it. Nine intelligence. I'll take it over that. I'll even throw that on the ground. There we go. Those are for the transmute shards that we need. Filling up on items. Oh, a portal scroll. We'll take that. The hat, it's red, blue, green, but it's not connected. It looks like it's connected, but it's not. The first two are, but not that third one to the green one. We're just going to leave that on the ground. And an item filter will actually color that whole item differently and make it bigger so that... Oh, let's see that barrel. Oh, very nice. When you level up, Everything gets reset, and your, and your health gets reset, too. I think your health does. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Had to think about that for a second. Scroll of Wisdom, I'll take it. All right, I see a little little loop here that we could miss something on, right? Like, right, oh, look at all these guys. And a big rare creature. Very nice. I've got my hand over my mana, or my uh, health, po health pot. Doesn't look like anything good. And you'll get really fast at noticing what's good and what's not and you, you'll have a they'll be bigger too there's ways to make the items text bigger and filter out stuff that you don't want like that stuff anyways makes things nice looks like let's do remaining we press enter and arrow up one monster remaining where is oh you gotta be kidding me so the thing that I said don't do <laughs> which was miss one single creature, we'll sprint. See, right around here, what creature did I possibly miss? You guys were watching, you probably said, you forgot one! You guys probably spotted it, and I didn't. I was talking blah blah blah. And sprint again. But it's okay, because wherever we find them, we're going to go back to town using a portal anyways. He wasn't up here. One creature. I don't see him. One little straggler. Oh, he's a sprinter. They sprint by you. And if you're walking by, they might sprint that way, and then they don't they don't chase you again. There we go. Alright, so what do we get? There it is, 87. What is this going to do? More attack speed. We know that, and more of that. It might be over 100 here. I think we will. Let's get it. 103. Very nice. Very nice. Our hit's a little bit low, so we're not going to need this one next just to get our um, our uh, accuracy up. It also gives us dexterity and intelligence. That's, this is a really, really good node. Normally, I would just use the escape key to get back to town, but I'm going to show you one of these. Right-click on it. Pops you right in here. Don't forget where it is. It's right down here. You wanted to go back. We don't want to go back in there, but that's okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and sell these items. Control click. 13 so far. 15. 
Oh, and then four. That was identified, so it gave us alterations instead of transmutations. Except, how close? Looks like we got almost almost enough for While one. We live, we are blessed. There, that turned it into one. And now we got three. So we can roll another one, or let's see. We leveled, so this yes. should be different. She should be selling different things now again. And uh, she wants an orb of alteration for that, because it's already magic. Eh -eh. What can I do? Oh, we can do this one. Let's do that. 12 strength and 12 life. I'll take it. No, nothing wrong with that. So now we have... Oh, look at this one. Let's do this. And we're going to do an orb Take of care. augmentation right here on this. It will add one more thing to it. Five life. I'll take it. Not great. Not, not terrible. And we're going to look for movement speed. So let's see if this guy is selling a movement speed. A Ooh, he gives us a book of regret. I'll explain that in I a second. Inland. Let's see if he has any movement speed. Now, no, a trick that tricky people do they can go runners or move right they type in move it'll highlight items that have movement on them like if these boots had movement speed it would highlight them so we know it doesn't so they don't so I'm just looking sometimes he'll sell a red red a red green blue item like this let's see red green blue almost Ooh, but this is kind of nice that's garbage. That's nice to have. So let's take this. We're going to buy it for an armor scrap. I think we have one armor scrap that we could do it. Now that's expensive. An armor scrap can sell for two wisdom scrolls, but we're going to do it. I'm looking around. Red, green, blah, blah, blah. I just don't want the blue and the red like this. So I'm going to take this because they're already linked. It's kind of nice. We're going to take it. And we're going to upgrade it got strength and we could augment it we'll do we'll even Stay go augment it if you have an augment you can do it as well for life just like that boom nice it's just nice to have more options that way if you get a, a really good upgrade on one of these you can just move these over there these gems the more options more flexibility the better like these two blues aren't helping us but we'll get there and we're going to sell this. Yes. Yes, we are. Take care. And we have six. Once that gets to 20, it'll turn it automatically turn it into the next thing, like an alteration. We have 10, then it would be 20. We we'll get one of those. All right. That quest gave us the quest, the side quest gave us this item right here. We're going to right click on it. Two um, respec points. So we're going to press P to get our this thing up. Now let's say I decided, you know what? I don't want these two. I want these two. I could go into refund. Click that. And that. Just like that, I could apply the refund. I don't want to do that, though. So I'm going to push cancel. But I have two refund points left. There we go. And that's what, what respec. And there's ways to get even more and more and more refund points. There we go. So I have two refund. I could refund them right there. I can search here, do all that kind of stuff. We're going to head here next. And this is not following a build guide. This is just doing what we want to do along the way to build. And this this character will get way into the end game and it'll be fine. And away we go. Um, You know what we could do? Let's go into the into the hideout. This is what you're, you're going to have a hideout, something like this. And you may have a crafting bench. You're going to have a stash. Now, if you go over to your crafting bench and you look at different items. This is let's let's upgrade this item. These we can't craft on because they have their two modifiers. They have everything on there. But this item we can craft on. Let's craft on it and you put it in there. It'll highlight the things you can do. This is in red because we don't have four transmutes. We do have one alteration, so we could literally add and force maximum, you know, 
15 to 25 max li uh, life on there. What else could we put on here? Fire resistance, strength, dexterity. We could do all that. Pretty nice. Let's go ahead and put life on that. Craft it on there. It used one of those. Uh-oh. We got a problem. <laughs> what level are we? I did. I don't think I just messed. We're only level 7. So I messed this up a little bit, but it's okay. So don't do what I just did there because it because that was um it has a, a high level craft on there. I can't even wear this now. We're gonna set this over here, we'll get to it. It that craft is not good. What I could do if you have a scouring orb, we don't even have a scouring orb, I could scour that off. That's that's too high of a <laughs> a thing to it, so I shouldn't have done that. But we're gonna get around that by just doing this. We're going to go, I don't, Ruthless, I really don't care about this. So I'm going to put it down here. We're just going to make it a two-link Molten Strike with just that. That's that's fine. Ruthless adds some damage, but I want a different mod anyways, so or a, a support gem anyways. So, but that's what you can do. If there's room on an item, you can add stuff to it. You don't always have to craft it this way. But in this case, I, I added a modifier that was bumped up the requirement level. <laughs> Normally, you wouldn't do that. So here we go. Let's go into here and then the submerged passage. And away we go. Right before, let's go back to the hideout real quick. We're going to put it that in our stash right in the middle here, just as a reminder of where it should go. We'll throw that in our gem spot. Here we go. We don't want to upgrade. This is this is the uh, crucible. We don't want to upgrade. Get that next thing on our our weapon. So we're just gonna skip that. Plenty of damage still. And I think we're gonna get a different um a different thing anyways. A different um what do you call it? Uh, oh, it's a dead end. What we're looking for is some stairs in this area. And the stairs tell us two things. It's the way out to the next zone, but it's not the actual way we want to go. Red, blue, green. Because we want to go to the submerged passage first. The trick is, if we have a portal, we can put a portal down and use a trick. Alrighty. Pretty nice. We'll leave that guy there. What's into that boulder? A shabby jerkin. I'll take the roll. I'll take the wisdom scroll, and we'll drop down a totem. Okay. 108 with the totem. When that totem goes away, in about two, so 98. So it's a big chunk up. Oh, we'll drop that totem down there and let's let it do some work. We got a sniper's mark again. So that's, that was our totem doing all that work. We can just sit here and watch our totem work. Pretty nice. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, here's the stairs I was talking about. Now the... Oh no, it's not the stairs. That looked like the stairs for a second. There's a way out over here. Let's use our sprint. I always forget about the sprint. A lot of people do. Oh, it looks like it this way but it's not the way out I think this is going to be the submerged passage because there's no stairs to it so this must be the flooded depths that's where we want to go in and this is going to be the side quest that we need to get done so let's go in there and do that I'm going to heal ourselves up just uh kill these monsters that'll regain our charge on our health health pot we're almost going to hit another level that's good so we can't use our gloves for a few levels. Now the nailed fists are an, a, an interesting item. They actually give you three hit uh, health per hit of an enemy. And when you see us hitting, we hit a lot of enemies at once. So that'll be like 20, 30, oh, maybe 20. You know, if you hit seven creatures, 21 health per hit. Uh, this can heal you right back up. These things are life gain on hit like that. It's a very powerful stat. Makes you able to just smash through things. But we're going for the big hits with the two-handers that do not do the 
auto they don't automatically do life gain on hit. Ooh, we got a shrine here. That shrine will give us a buff, but we're looking for I think that's a dead end or a circle. And our health is back up, our health potions back up. Ooh, let's put our totem down for this fight. We're gonna heal. Oh, and we got a, a, a level, so that put us all the way back. Almost a chromatic there. They're not connected all the way. There's only two out of the three are connected. We're gonna drop that totem and he's just gonna kill that for us. Now this is a sprinting one. Acceleration shrine. Let's do that. With our sprint, we're really flying now. Oh boy. We can really get around and look around. Let's look around. Let's find out where it is. Oh, there's the there's the guy. We'll take our map off and we're gonna really sprint and 106. Easy stuff. We'll heal up. Smash that guy. Everything's fine. We're going to grab. We have room here. Let's move this down because it puts it across this way. Chainmail tunic. tunic taking all those. Let's, let's find out if we get anything good. Now, red, red, green is going to be hard to replace here. So this, whatever we get here is going to be really hard to replace. So much so that I don't even want to identify it because I want more of these transmute shards. I'm not going to identify these things. I'm going to skip them. I want to sell them for transmutes. What we're going to use is the trick. We've got a... Uh, oh, we don't have a... Um, we're going to have to run back out because we do not have a portal at the other... at the staircase. If we had a portal at the staircase, we could go to town and then be zapped right back to the staircase. So we're going to have to climb back out of this pit. Or we could just go that and go right back into the beginning of the... Oh, he jumps out of there. Gotta watch out for that guy. He's, he's kind of mean. Let's do this. Let's just go back to town this way. We're gonna spend our point. Let's spend our point. Right now, our... Gotta move a little bit to unlock it. There we go. 9184. If we spend a point right here, it gets our accuracy up a little bit. Let's see how much higher. And 101. So 9184, 109. And our accuracy is almost capped. But every time we level up, it requires more and more accuracy to keep that at 100%. So here we go. Nice. I like it. Everything's cool. Let's sell this stuff off. Move along. We're just going to sell that, sell that, that, and that. We got 19, almost enough for another one. Pretty cool. Let's put these down at the bottom here. Keep moving along. Oh, what does he want to do? You managed. Oh, look at that! That is so cool. From that submerged that passageway, we got this item. We'll use it. Gives us a skill point now. We get to spend another one, and we're gonna take this one. This is nice. Um, 109. That, that, and that. We're going to take it, and our intelligence goes up, so we're going to have more mana. And I'm going to show you how to get these, these numbers right here in a second. Here we go. Apply. 111. Now we're capped for a while. Let's go into options. I think uh, maybe UI down here in the... Right there. See how they go off and on? I like them being on. Just push save. That'll be done. So off we go. We're making progress. We're going to go right into the beginning of the submerged passage and put our map on and see how it's done. We know that if that's over here, then the way out is going to be kind of maybe up this way. There's another uh, shrine. That's nice if we wanted to use it. We could hit that shrine. Why not? Oh, look at this guy. Put our totem down to help us hit faster and stronger. We'll take that wisdom scroll. Our totem protects us so we can, you know, pop that up and we can just kind of pay attention to what is over here. This is an electricity shrine. We're going to click it and now we have the buff that electrocutes everything around us. Very nice. Oh, the eye of the storm. Looks like that's a dead end. We're going to sprint out of this area. Pop that guy. Now, if you really want to level faster and faster we shouldn't be sitting here fighting these guys at all these normal creatures they don't give that much experience but um well there's the stairs 
But we know we're on the right way. We'll heal up, use some of our healing potion. Heal up again. This is serious. This guy's a lot of... And we're going to get rid of these guys just because they're a pain. I don't want those guys messing around with us anymore. There we go. We're almost to another level that fast. We'll take these for the transmutes. The little shards. Ooh, we'll take another one. Very cool. It's going to be around here. Not that way. If we drop that down, it'll do our work for us behind us. Pretty nice. And we get experience. Let's see. If I put that down, look at our experience. It's going up. 42, 50. It did all the work for us. Uh, where is the way out? Is it up here? I'm just going to sprint right by these, but there's so many of them. I, I just love them. You know what, the thing is, it's not the most efficient, but I like smashing stuff. So, we're going to go over here. I think this might be a dead end. Getting the impression. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there's an armor scrap. That's worth two. Uh, we can buy stuff for it, but uh, we can do... There's the way out. We're heading to the ledge. Very nice. This is, got... this is a fun uh, a fun area because it's right in a row. It's just one long line. And something else I'll show you. We go back in here. We look at our overview map. Here we are in here. See how that has a little dot in it? That has a big dot? That means there's a waypoint in this area and it's been found. This means there's a waypoint in this area and it hasn't been found. But we got to find the waypoint, which is about halfway through the, this zone. Oh, there's a totem. There we go. Ooh, chest. Let's go find... Ooh, very nice. We've got a reset of our stuff. And I'm just looking at the items there. Oh, here's some blue guys. Blue guys are usually worth fighting because they give you more experience. I don't know if it's like triple regular thing. I don't know. I never paid attention. I just... I know it's a lot more significant. And the rare guys give him more, but sometimes those aren't worth fighting because uh, if you're trying to really speed run, because they take so long to kill. So, but I try to, I just have fun and I kill lots of things. And, ooh, these are some blue boys. Take those scrolls and we'll move along. Ooh, look at this, we've got a, uh, oh, here's another blue boy. Boom, iron ring, you know what that means. You get a free shot at something cool. Steel skin got stronger. Now it's doing 86 dan uh, modif meta uh, modifying. Uh, I can say it. I can say the words. It, it can absorb up to 86 damage in our shield now. Let's see this. We're going to go here. Now I could go here and go to here. But this is a really, really, really good node. So I'm just going to take it. It's going to make my life easier. I'm going to work my way towards it. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to go that way. So what did I get for this ring? Here it is. I'm trying to improve either one of these. Mana doesn't seem to be a real issue right now. Probably because of the, <laughs> these two rings. I'm going to try to get something like more attack power-ish. Do I have everything else? Ooh, that's upgraded. That's up. These are all upgraded. So here we go. Fire damage. I'll take it. That's what we're at. 113. Which one do I want? I'll do this one. A little bit more. Probably not worth it. <laughs> we'll augment it and we'll see what happens. We'll augment that. Add, or maybe we'll try... Oh, I don't want to put life on it in the... <laughs> in our... Uh, in our... Um, whatchamacallit? In our hideout. Because then... Uh, we can't wear it again for until, until level 12. I think in the regular game, if you're new, you don't even get access to your hideout until like level 12. Maybe that's why. I'm not sure. Here's the waypoint. Here's a little trick. See these little three things here? You come into this zone and you see these three stones, that's pointing you the way forward. I'll scroll in a little so you can see them. Just like that. Those stones, somebody set them up and stacked them up to point us the way out towards the uh, forward. That way, it's backward. Should I go back? Nah. What do we got on here? 
red and green. Nah, nah, nah. Here we go. Away we go. And I'm just using that autumn. Oh, this uh, this thing's really cool. I'll explain what this is. Rustic shit. 18. This is 22. And those are good stats, so I don't want to re-roll that yet. Okay. Let's clear this these guys out around this thing. This is uh, some new content. We haven't seen this before yet. These are called called essences. Let's clear these guys out so I don't have to deal with them. Ooh, a transmute or uh, orb of transmutation. Very cool. We're going to heal up. We're going to mana up even. Yeah, put that over there. Okay. Back, we're going to move that over. And that over. And that down. Okay. These things. Oh gosh, there's some mean guys around there too. Okay. Aye, aye, aye. This does two things. It overwhelms physical, physical reduction. So it they cold they do cold, chill, and freeze resistance. And they're gonna give us a whispering essence of contempt. Okay. So we're ready to go. I'm gonna drop down my totem. And I'm gonna click this thing once, twice, three times. That unlocks him. The middle guy in the middle there, he's gonna be the strongest one. The other ones are like ads for it. But see, a lot of good drops, a lot of good things. We got a tribal club we'll sell. We're gonna end up selling, ooh, red, red, green. That might be better than this. This one does dexterity, which we need. Some life, which is nice. So let's see what it actually gives us. Maybe something cool. Nah, <laughs> but it's done. This thing right here, look at this. This is pretty amazing. It upgrades a normal item to a rare item. We've seen that once before with the, uh, we found that orb of alchemy. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look for a weapon that has some good things on it. And we're going to use this on this most likely because, ah, see this? It guarantees that one of the properties is going to be, uh, adds two to possibly five physical damage. Or well, what does this do? Two to five. So that'll, it, it'll guarantee at least that. Now here's the thing. It's going to be hard to beat this weapon because it has a lot of good things on it. But it's still doable. Uh, we could use it on a pair of boots as well if we find some good boots. And what would that add it to? Other armor. Physical damage. Ooh, that would be kind of nice. Physical damage to a boot. I've seen it like that before. Well, we can test it. Other ar Oh, reflex. <laughs> That's bad. I don't want to do it on the boots. Other jewelry. Uh, ooh, we, we can do it to a jewelry thing. That would be good. Yeah. I think I want to do it. If I can find a uh, either a weapon, a good weapon to tr give, hopefully, uh, the next level up weapon, or some jewelry, like an iron ring, a blank iron ring, and make it into a, a, a rare, that's the way to go. So... That's to give you the idea. That essence thing are really fun. Even in endgame, early on in the endgame and throughout it, you can get essences that it basically allows you to roll good base items into items that you really like, guaranteeing at least one of the mods is going to be something you want. So people use those for uh, crafting a lot. It's a good way to start or a way to start. And we've already been doing crafting. So everybody says, oh, the crafting is really complicated. Well, if you, if you used one of those, you've crafted. If you used one of these, you've crafted. So you're getting into crafting. It's our, We're already... We used that alchemy orb. We've used things already. We're just getting into the very beginning. Crafting is uh, unbelievably complex and deep. I won't say complex. I'll just say it's a deep, deep system of really intricate things that are pretty cool. It's not like... <laughs> I think Diablo 4, what does it do? Um, you craft and he says, okay, replace that with the, one of these three things. This this is not that kind of crafting. This is very, very, very... Yeah, there, There's crafters that are so advanced that they make all their profits in the game just from crafting. And they know how to do things everybody else doesn't know how to do because they've spent time really, really learning the game. Uh-oh. Somebody's upset up here. There. Look at that. 
Very cool. Open up that chest. Ooh, a paw, paw ring. Ooh, this thing we gotta take out. Heal ourselves up. Oh, get out of here. Heal ourself up again. Look at that guy. He's crazy fast. What does he have on him? Let's see if we can... Lightning shock. He's just so fast. Look at that. We'll put a, one of those down to slow him down. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Take the portal scrolls. Okay. Uh, anything smaller that we can take for yeah so that's the, that's you know this takes six spots that other thing only took two we'll take this we'll drop a totem over here to take care of that thing and we'll take these guys out we're gonna need some more health I'd, I'd like a little more health just to be on the safe side here and I'm just glancing at the items I don't even care about those guys we're may oh look at this we got a we got our next level Sometimes if you're playing like hardcore, what people will do is they like this level a lot because it's pretty linear. They'll um, they'll just rerun this a few times to get a little more items, a little more stuff, and a little maybe even some more levels to safely progress in hardcore. But if you're playing hardcore, you're pretty re good at this game and you're not going to die anyways. But if you're new at it, you know, it's a, it's a strategy you could do. Oh, a scroll of wisdom. I don't like these guys throwing stuff on me. And we're not going to do that because we don't want the next thing. We're going to go into here. Alrighty. Let's do this. Let's see if there is. We can just go back here now that we've unlocked that place. There is a, a waypoint. Okay, see how we saw that with that little, that little dot? That means there is a waypoint in here. And I know that the waypoint is pretty close to the beginning of this Zone. So we're, it's going to be right around here. So we're going to go. We want to go sell. Clear, clean out our inventory. We also want to use this. Right now I'm at 220 or 255. 20 max life, 10% increased life. Strength gives us life. Apply. 255, 308. That was a 20, good 22%. Nice. Now we're stronger. The only, the other thing is, when you're outside in these outside environments, they're bright. It's hard to see the map. So what you can do, and I wish they had maps like this where that would just automatically do this. So here, the map transparency. I turn it up a little bit. Or I wish there was a toggle for transparency for two settings. Any kind of stuff. That's just the quality of life that. I would add to the game. Whoa. I definitely need um, some regen. <laughs> and, uh, oh, let's find the, uh, there it is. Geo. Pete, really hit me. Come on. Very nice, very nice. Transmute, but let's get that. Very cool. A medium flask, I'll take it. So we can always trade it in even if it's not good. Look at these guys, they're really upset with me. Ooh, that's worth four uh, ID scrolls. Let's go back to town. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? And if we go back to town, it resets all these things anyway. So. For free. You don't even have to click anything. And away we go. Let's see. Hello. Hello. We got a lot more from that. Let's see. Anything? Anything? We'll sell that one. Except, let's um, identify that this one is better in every way. So that one gives us 70 and immunity to shock for six seconds. So if we get shocked, um, we don't really, not too much right now. But if we do, we can take, get that up there. Let's purchase an item. Can we purchase a better one of these? How much does it cost? Three orbs of transmutation? I don't think so. I just want one of these little cheap ones. <laughs> and the thing is, we could use these on here too. We could use it on this. Let's do it. 
Oh boy. We're going to try to improve it without making it worse. Let's see if we can do this. 18 extra charges. So we get it'll we can use it more often. And there's a while we're using it, we have a chance to avoid being frozen. That's not that good. I think we can do better. We're going to try one of these. Let's re-roll it. Maximum charges. 51% increased block and stunned recovery during the effect. Not bad, but we're going to we're going to re-roll that later once we don't care about uh, stuns. All right. And can we sell anything else? We could sell this. And let's go back to our stash. We're going to pop that in there, that in there, that in there, that's in there. And we're going to go to our Cyclone tab and put that right there. This is the gear I had from my other character. That's nice and everything. You know what? I'm not going to... I mean, I could use this stuff, and it is nice to have, but I'm just going to sell it because it's not... It's like cheating because I had... Not cheating, but I had this stuff from my other character that I was just messing around with. So I'm just going to sell it mm -hmm. and not use it, even though it's way better than the stuff I have. And if you have gems in there, it's going to say, are you sure? I say yes, yes, and yes. Even this weapon is way better than what we have. It's a good weapon. Goodbye. While we live, because on top of that, oh, let's go sell that other piece. I Hello. missed one of them. The other thing is, it just clutters up my uh, okay. stash, too. So There we go. Right back to that. Pretty soon we'll be able to use this again. <laughs> if you guys like this comment uh, content, go ahead and um, like or subscribe helps the most. And then uh, the likes help it get it out to other people, and it helps me as well. Um, and if you have any qu uh, questions about this stuff, or something I'm missing, or... What does that do? Or what does this do? Or if it's pay to win, it's the game's not. Or is it free to play? It is. All that kind of stuff. Um, just let me know. I'll be. I'll answer all the questions. Oh, we're already up to one hour. We should probably wrap things up here. Make another episode. It'd be good to just do an hour-long episode. Anything more than an hour is pretty long. Let's do that. So we're going to wrap it up here. I didn't realize an hour goes by so quickly. I talk, talk, talk. Uh, I probably talk too much, but uh, I enjoy it. Um, it's a fun game to play, and there is an unbelievable amount of content ahead. When I said we're at, like, not even 1%, we were back here. We've done all this other stuff. We're still not even at 1% of the, the depth of this game. It's uh, truly, truly amazing. And got 10 years of content that we're playing with too. too. So, and we get new content in a few uh, in a few weeks. So you can play, and then you can continue playing and not do the new content, or you can start again and say, okay, I've really I, I have a better understanding of the game now, and play and and go deep into the first league with thousands of other players as well. Because the first month of uh, a league is really 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 busy. So uh, we're going to log out here, and we'll see you in the next episode. I'll start off right here again. Pretty cool. Have a good one. Enjoy. Nice, nice. Don't want to do that.